Hi everybody, Kim here from Magnet Forensics. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if you get hit with a ransomware attack. Ransomware attacks are serious and more common than folks think. Experts estimate that since 2016, over 4,000 ransomware attacks have happened daily in the U.S. and the average ransom demanded increased from $5,000 in 2018 to around $200,000 in 2020. If you get hit with a ransomware attack, you're going to need to act fast investigating it. Here are the steps you'll need to take. Step one, validate the alert. Depending on the size of your company, hundreds or even thousands of security events might be logged in a day. Best case scenario, the alert's just a false positive. But since it may be a real ransomware attack, treat every alert as urgent. To validate the alert, you'll need to do a quick scan or a triage of the affected endpoint. Based on the alert that kicks off your investigation, you may have a good idea of what you're looking for, a file name or a keyword, for example. A triage tool like Magnet Ignite can scan for malicious activity or individual keywords on target endpoints, even multiple ones simultaneously. Whatever you use, work quickly. Step two, enact your incident response plan. Once you know you have a real ransomware attack on your hands, things are going to get stressful and start moving very fast. Make sure you have an incident response plan in place so you can begin executing on it immediately. As an investigator, the answers you dig up will get to the root cause of the attack and arm other teams with the information they need to do their jobs. Keep in contact with the security teams like network, cloud, and endpoint security so they can isolate and quarantine infected endpoints as quickly as possible. Get in touch with the marketing and PR folks too for external communication. Legal to understand your organization's responsibilities and HR to get in touch with the employee who triggered the attack. Even understanding what application they were using at the time can be extremely valuable. Step three, perform root cause analysis and preserve evidence. You're going to get a lot of questions. As a forensic examiner, you'll need to answer these questions and the endpoint you're investigating is now most likely encrypted. After all, the average time it takes for ransomware to start encrypting files is three seconds. So you'll need to get data from many different sources Collect the volatile memory and full disk image from the infected endpoint. Pull the most recent backups and snapshots of the infected endpoint if they've been encrypted. Acquire any system logs you can, specifically Windows event logs and firewall logs. Get the volume shadow copy if it hasn't been encrypted. Next, get the log files from all the different appliances that caused the alert to go off, like CrowdStrike or Bluecoat. Finally, collect network traffic going to and from the infected endpoint. Magnet Axiom Cyber is an excellent tool for collecting all this forensic data. It has powerful analytics to reduce your time to evidence. Connections will visually show you how a file, like a malicious payload, originated and where it went. Timeline will quickly establish an easy to follow timeline of events, possibly getting you to your patient zero. You can analyze Linux artifacts coming from servers or other devices that will help you understand how the attacker moved through your network and what other endpoints might be infected. Finally, it allows for remote acquisition of target endpoints even when they aren't connected to your corporate network with a VPN. And it can quickly and accurately analyze RAM and memory to understand what happened on the infected endpoint. All of this is vital for quickly getting to the bottom of the attack. Step four, ensure your security perimeter is free of ransomware and restore your network. On average, ransomware attacks cause 15 business days of downtime, costing businesses an average of $8,500 per hour. You'll need to get your business up and running again safely and quickly, and it's vital to make sure you've removed every trace of contamination from your network. In a survey from Cyber Reason, 80% of those who paid the ransom were hit with a second attack, often by the same thief. Use a tool like Axiom Cyber to do a sweep for IOCs or remnants of the ransomware on the image that you will be using as your base image or gold image. Some common places that attackers like to plant backdoors are Active Directory and email servers. Keep in mind that ransomware often targets backups, so inspect those prior to restoration. Upload a gold image hash set into Axiom Cyber and compare it against the endpoint of concern to see any differences. And use this opportunity to get up to date on all your patching and server updates too. Step five. Create a report on the incident and prepare a debrief for lessons learned. When the dust is settled, the infected endpoints have been safely and successfully restored and the ransomware has been eradicated from your network, report on your investigation. 
Having a timeline of events is an extremely effective way to report on a security incident like this so that connections and timeline views in Axiom I mentioned earlier are an excellent resource. Make sure you document all your steps and tasks during your investigation so you can speak to them later. Your report will likely be consumed by a lot of varied stakeholders, so don't use a lot of jargon. Keep it simple. I hope you never have to perform a ransomware investigation, but if you do, it's best to be prepared and have the right tools at your fingertips. Check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about Axiom Cyber and subscribe for more from us. Thanks for watching.